So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at sections. Everyone go to content and go to section manager. Does everybody see that? Sure. If, if I were using yeah. Joomla to build a site, would this yeah. kind of thing exist automatically or would yes. I have? Oh, yes. Could you help her log in? She doesn't have uh, login information. And if she needs a card, there's, there's a couple more over there. OK. Um, if you, you can create a, web, a, a Joomla website on any hosting. And yes, when you first get to it, it will look like this. There will be some stuff that won't be there. Some of the components won't be there because we added them. But yes, this is the same structure. OK. So when we get to section manager, we can see that your site right now has one section. I created that section. It's called My Business. I want you to edit that and change it to your name. So click on My Business, the name My Business right here. Things might get a little bit slow at times just because we're all on at the same time. So we just need to have some patience. Now you can delete what's in the alias field. It's going to recreate that for you. OK, you don't need to do anything else. By default, it's published, which means it shows up. By default, it's available to the public. OK, you don't need to put a description in. So all you've done so far is changed the title and deleted the alias. Is everyone there? OK, so now you see over here it says save, apply, and close. When you save stuff, you're your changes are saved, and you are brought back to the previous page, which in this case is the section manager. If you apply your changes, your changes are saved, and you are brought back to this page to make further changes. If you close it, you will lose your changes. Okay? We never use the back button in Joomla. This is like a big no-no. No back button. If you use the back button, you will cry. Or, or Joomla will cry. Somebody will cry. Kittens will die. It's a bad idea. No back button. So I'm going to click on Save, because I want to save my changes and go back to the section manager. And that's what you should do as well. OK, so now my business is called Joomla Workshops. <coughs> if I wanted to create a new section, even though we usually do <coughs> just one section for a small business, and then we lose our voice, <coughs> um, we click on New. And we're going to see the same type of thing, where you put in a title, you don't need the alias, and then you click on Save. So you don't need to do this right now, unless you want to. Um, but this is how you would create another section. You would click on New, and then you would enter a title. And we got here by going to Content and Section Manager. OK, so let's have a brief, yes, let's have a brief review. Joomla, the way content is structured is that there are sections, one or more, categories, and articles. All we did right now was we went into the Content, we went into Section Manager, and we renamed the existing section that was there to our own business. And we saw that if we wanted to add another section, we would go to the section manager and click on new and enter a title. Does anyone have any questions so far? No, everyone's good. Everyone's really good. OK. So next thing we're going to look at is categories. So this is probably pretty evident, but we're going to go content, category manager. There are three categories in this pretend website so far. Products, services, and about us. But you probably want to change that. But we're not going to change it right now. You see that there are categories. And the same thing if you click on new. Click on new. I'll click on new too. This is the same like the section set up. You just put in a title. You don't need to put in an alias. In fact, add a category right now in any category that you want to add. And we'll go back and edit the other ones later. Okay, and when you're done, you click on Save. Remember, Save will save your changes and bring you back to the previous page that you were on, which in this case is the Category Manager. Okay? Is everybody with me? I'm going to keep asking that all day. So if you're not with me, you could also just say, hey, I'm not with you, and don't worry about it. Um, so we said sections, one or more categories. We still had to create a new category, and now we're going to look at articles. Articles are the backbone of your website because people will tell you, like, gimmicks and flash and, you know, jumping monkeys and all that, but when you get down to it, good content, 
is essential. If, you, if your content is no good, people are not going to come to your website. If it's out of date, people are not going to come to your website. If you have a menu on there from last year and you're a restaurant and you've raised all your prices and changed all your food, not good. So one of the greatest things about Joomla is that it's really easy to update content. And that's actually the main reason people want to use uh, a CMS, a content management system, is that ease. You don't need Dreamweaver. You don't need special tools. You just need a web browser. You also need some time to drink of water. One second. <coughs> OK, so we're going to look now at articles. If you go to content and go to article manager, Okay, so let's take a look at a few things here. There are three articles on this website. The first one is East Anglia, which I think is a place in England, although I'm not sure. The second one is Test. The third one is Millard Filmori. These do not mean anything. This one is published on the front page. And when you, when you went to your front end, when you clicked on the other tab, you saw that there was an article on the front page. It didn't make any sense, but there was an article there. These are not on the front page. All three of them are published. See how they have green checks right there? When you see a green check, published means that something appears on the front end of the website and people can see it. If something is not published, it will not appear anywhere on the front end. So if you're wondering where something is, it's probably not published. Public. That means anyone can see it who visits your website. They don't need to be logged in or anything. Section. This one is in a section. These are actually uncategorized, which we're not going to do. We're going to keep things in sections and categories. This is uh, in the Joomla workshops and products. Okay? And here's the author, TNR Global. You can filter here. And this becomes very useful when you have 200 articles, for example. And you want to click on, I only want to see stuff in the Joomla workshops section. And you only see one article now. Or if you wanted to do it by category or by author, by whether it's published or not, these are all drop downs. Okay? You can also search by the t part of the title so you know that M I L L is in there somewhere. And you click on that, go, and it's going to search for just this. Okay? So this is just the re easy way to find your articles. When you have a lot, it becomes a bit overwhelming. Because this displays 20 at a time, but you can also set it to display 100 at a time. Um, if you have you know, 100 articles, you can do that. It's not going to make any difference for us right now, though. Yeah, that's the whole point, is to be able to find your article quick, um, which you know it's hard to show with three articles. But when you have a lot, you'll see how that's really helpful. The um, moment, please. So let's create a new article. Let's go to um, click on new. Yes, very good guess. Excellent. When all else fails, click on new. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to enter a title. This is the title of your article. Okay, And we're going to spend some more time on this later. We're, this is the beginning to give you an idea of how content is structured and what the basic steps are. So this article could be at any level at this point. It's just something that will eventually appear on the website. Yes, yeah, so it can be about anything you like. You are going to put it into a section and a category. Does this title appear anywhere, or is this just for our It will appear on the front end of the website, unless you hide it. We're not going to hide it right now. So yes, it is going to appear. And in this case, I want you to click on yes for front page so that it's actually published on the front page. Okay, and you can just type a little bit in there, anything you like. Um, these tools, if you hover over them, they'll show you what they are. They're basically like a word processor. Um, but I don't want you to worry about those right now. Just put a little content in here. <laughs> There's also some parameters we'll talk about a little later on the right. We're not going to worry about that either. All you need right now is title. Publish it on the front page, section and category, and a little bit of content. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay. 